One of the high risk activities we're involved in as drivers is discharging into pump hoppers. Here are some key points to remember so this task can be done safely. Step one, reversing into position. Once safely on site, it's important to be guided back into position by a competent spotter. Always keep eye contact with your spotter and stop if clear direction isn't given or if they move out of sight. It's important to be clear on who is giving you directions. If you're not sure, stop and ask politely whose directions you're meant to be following. Always make sure the spotter is standing in a safe place while reversing and that no other workers are in the operational safety zone. Where two trucks are delivering to the same hopper, a minimum distance of 600 millimetres should be kept between the two trucks. The spotter should also guide the trucks back in at the correct angle. Step two, condition of pump. Once you're in position and out of your truck, do a quick safety check around the pump. Check things like the condition of pipes, clamps, and make sure all safety pins are in place. Look out for anything you feel could be unsafe and speak up if you notice something so it can be fixed straight away. Just asking a question could save a life. Always contact the plant straight away if you notice any major concerns that need to be dealt with or shared with other drivers. Step three, discharging into the hopper. When discharging concrete into the hopper, always stand to the side of your truck, away from any other moving plant or vehicles, and away from any piping. Make sure a grate is fitted to the hopper before discharging concrete. The pump should be positioned in such a way that allows easy flow of concrete from the primary chute into the pump hopper. Make sure the concrete level in the hopper is kept to the right level at all times to prevent blowback. It's vital to know where the emergency stop button is and that it's easy to reach in case something goes wrong. Remember, water shouldn't be added to the concrete unless you've gained the appropriate approvals. One of the main hazards around pumps is slippery surfaces, so where possible, stay off the back of the pump and always use three points of contact when getting on and off your truck. Step four, cleaning chutes and blowback. To avoid manual handling issues, always make sure you have good access to be able to clean out your chutes safely. If your organisation permits blowback into their trucks, written approval must be provided and everyone must follow the agreed procedure. It's easy to stay safe when delivering concrete to pumps if you scan the code regularly to watch and follow the instructions in this video, refer to our industry guidelines booklet and follow your organisation's workplace procedures. That way we all get to go home safely at the end of each day.